Hi, I'm Chef Gio Oso of Virtu Honest Craft in Scottsdale, Arizona, and Nico Heirloom Kitchen in Gilbert, Arizona. Today I'm gonna to make for you a seared scallop dish. It's gonna be paired with some crispy sunchokes, some caramelized onion, some candied bacon, of course, some charred grapes, as well as a little bit of heat with some charred Fresno chilies. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take my onion, slice them nice and thin. The next thing I'm gonna do is my sunchokes. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cube these. Sunchokes cut this way will give you the style of like a crispy potato. What I'm gonna season my scallops with is a little licorice powder called liquorizia in Italian. So I'm gonna season it really nicely here, but I'm also gonna use salt and pepper, of course. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna caramelize our onions. We're gonna add the sunchokes in a little bit after that. So let's get this pan really nice and hot. And that's the beauty of working with gas. Things get hot real fast. We're gonna add a little bit of butter, one little, one little pat just like that. We're gonna add our onions right into there. See how we're starting to get a little bit of color? I'm gonna add my sunchokes to this now. I'm gonna turn this one down just a little bit. Using natural gas for this, especially doing the caramelized onions and the sunchokes, you have better control than any other method of cooking. So this is the best way to do it. Now, I wanna get my grapes and my peppers going. Put it on like low, medium heat. Just put your peppers right on there, just to get that beautiful char. And you can also do the same thing with the grapes, right next to each other. I wanna give this a little turn. It's beautiful char, starting to get a little black on the outside skin here of the peppers. The grapes are starting to, look at that, they're getting a beautiful char on them. While that's cooking, this is charring. Let's get our pan hot for our scallops. Get a little bit of olive oil in the pan. We're gonna also add a little bit of butter. My grapes are looking great. I'm gonna set my grapes aside, as well as my peppers. That's perfect. Take that off the heat. So now, we're gonna add our scallops. Now one of the things you wanna do when you're searing scallops, or any fish for that matter, is you wanna leave it alone. Once you put it in the pan, let it go. Now in my pan back here, I have my candied bacon. So what I did with my candied bacon is I rendered the fat off of the bacon, and once the bacon got really nice and brown, I drained all the fat off, I added some sherry vinegar and some sugar, brought it to a syrup, and then added my bacon back into it. So it has a beautiful, nice sheen to it, and a great salty sweetness to it, which will really complement the dish. My scallops are starting to get that beautiful crust. At this point, I wanna add some butter. Okay, let's face it, folks, I wanna add a lot of butter. I wanna add some fresh thyme. Throw the whole sprig in there, it's okay. I also wanna add some fresh garlic. We're going to tilt the pan towards you a little bit, okay? And we're going to baste the scallops for just a minute or two. At this point, I wanna take my chilies and put them right into the butter with my scallops. I'm gonna to continue to baste for another 30 seconds or so, and our scallops feel like they're done. As you can see, it has that beautiful char on the one side. And now I'm gonna add a little fresh parsley to this butter over here. I'm gonna get it nice and crispy. Our caramelized onions and sunchokes look like they're just about done. And I'm going to basically put a line right down the middle of the plate. I'm going to take my scallops, just like this, our chilies, put them on either side. We're gonna take some of the parsley and brown butter and just pour it over our scallops. And then we're going to finish with a little bit of our candied bacon, just drizzled around the plate. We're gonna to top this with some of the charred grapes. I'm Chef Gio Oso for Two Honest Craft in Scottsdale, Arizona, and Nico Heirloom Kitchen in Gilbert, Arizona. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen.